Hi everyone, welcome to lecture series of programming for problem solving. Myself, I am K. Kiran Kumar, working as assistant professor in the department of computer science and engineering of Vijayans Foundation for Science, Technology and Research, Vadlamudi. Today, I am going to explain about the concept of one of the concept of uh, structures. Of course, we are in the series of structures. In previous video sessions, we have discussed about uh, brief introduction and uh, some, some, some topics related to structures. In this video, I am going to cover the concepts of uh, subtopics of structures that is uh, how to use the pointers to the structures and how to use the arrays within the structures. So these two concepts I am going to cover in today's video session. So it provides the relation, first concept provides the relationship between structures to pointers and second concept how we can provide the relationship to arrays and the structures. So how the pointers and arrays that are used in between the structures that we can use that we can uh, demonstrate in the today's video session. Okay. So I am going to first concept uh, uh, structures to pointers. First of all, uh, before going to the concept, we have to know what is a pointer. So we know a pointer is a variable that stores the address of uh, another variable. So here uh, we are using the pointers in the structures. So how we can use the pointers uh, in the structures uh, uh, that I will tell you is by using this particular slide. Okay. So when we are using pointer to structures, uh, we have to assign the pointer variable. First of all, we have to declare a pointer variable. I think you know what is a variable and what is a pointer. So uh, here I am discussing, for example, if you are taking uh, int a, you know this, it is a variable. Okay, You know this, it is a variable. For example, if you want to declare any integer pointer, then you have to use uh, indirection pointer and we can say it is a it is also a variable, but we can say it is a variable pointer. Okay, so this is a pointer and this is a normal variable. In previous video session, we have we have declared variables in the structures. So how we are accessing the uh, members of the structure with variables? We know that uh, with the help of uh, dot operator. So with the help of dot operator, we are we are going to access the members of the given structure. We know that, but coming to when you are using pointers. When you are declaring a pointers, how we have to uh, use those pointers and how we can access the members of the structure using the pointers that we are going to discuss in this concept. Okay, So structures to pointers, if, if you are declaring any pointer, it will point out the address of the structure variable. So whenever you are declaring a pointer, if you want to access the members or if you want to connect that pointer to the structure, you there is a only way that means whatever the variable you are declaring to that particular structure, you have to pass that address of that particular structure variable to the pointer. Okay, So the, the only way is you have to point the pointer to the address of a structure variable. Okay, How we can declare a pointer that we will see. This is an example program. So for example, this is a structure dog, dog structure. What are the attributes of a dog structure we have? What is the name of the dog? What is the breed? Uh, that means the type of the dog. What is the age? And what is the color? This, this, so many attributes are there, but I have taken here four attributes. This, for the first attribute name, breed, age, and color. So this is the structure variable I have declared dog. So the struct dog spike, this is the uh, var uh, variable I have declared uh, here. After that, what I have declared? Here I have declared uh, one pointer. So when uh, first of all, when you declared uh, a dog structure, some memory will be allocated. So consider this is a dog structure, we have memory will be allocated. In that we had a uh, member's name, breed, age, color like that. So after that I have declared uh, uh, one pointer. What is a pointer here? PTR underscore dog is my pointer. So PTR underscore dog is my pointer. So whenever you have declared a pointer and you have associated with the structure, uh, PTR underscore dog, uh, this particular uh, pointer is pointing to the structure. But where it is pointing? So for this particular structure dog, what is the variable we have taken? That is dog underscore spike. So this is the variable and this concept, this is the structure. Okay. So this particular pointer will point at pointing to the structure variable. So this is a dog structure and what is the variable I have taken object 
dark spike. So this particular dark spike will be pointed by the pointer when you have a, when you have provided a relationship between pointer to the struct. How this pointer is pointing to that particular structure only? I have mentioned here struct dog. Okay. So here this is the structure variable you have to understand and this is a structure pointer. You have to understand the differentiation. What is a structure variable and what is a structure pointer? Okay. So whenever a pointer is pointing to the structure that is called structure pointer variable. Whenever a normal variable or normal object we have associated with the structure that is called a structure variable. Okay. So structure variable and structure pointer both are variables but uh, what is the differentiation is there? So you have to uh, use a dot operator if you want to access the members of uh, uh, structure using normal variable. Uh, when you are using a pointer the important is uh, you have to use uh, arrow operator that we will discuss in the next coming slide okay so here what am i what my point is if you want to declare any pointer to the structure the syntax is you have to you have to use the keyword structure name and as well as the pointer name so this is the pointer declaration so this declares a pointer ptr underscore dog that can store the address of variable of type struct dog so so whenever you have declared this particular pointer it will store the address of whatever the variable is associated with that particular structure okay so this is the uh, this is the address uh, i am storing in the pointer so if you want to st if you want to connect if you want to provide relationship between the structure and the pointer the only way is whatever the variable is associated with that particular structure you have to pass that structure variable address so here i am passing the structure variable address so my variable name is here spike so here this is the spike is the uh, my variable name, uh, my variable name, structure variable name. So I have passed uh, this uh, spike uh, address to this particular pointer means indirectly that pointer is pointing structure. Again, I am telling. So here, what is the structure name? Dog. So consider this is the dog structure. Okay. So in that water, how many members are there? Name, breed, age and color consider these are the numbers structure name is dog so i have associated i have declared one uh, uh, variable here that is nothing but spike this is the object so consider whenever i have declared a spike it is a normal variable or object so it is pointing to the structure so it is pointing to the structure so the spike will consist of the address of the structure okay consider uh, this the, the address of uh, structure is 2049 so this particular spike the normal variable consists of the structure of so the base address of structure after that what i have assigned this particular spike here the spike is also have its own address called 2178 so 2128 okay this particular address will be pointed by which one ptr underscore dog ptr underscore dog that is nothing but a pointer so indirectly I am pointer is pointing the particular structure variable indirectly point is pointing to the whole structure itself okay so if you want to connect if you want to connect the relationship between structure to pointer if you want to provide the relationship between structure to pointer the pointer has to take the address of whatever the variable is associated with that particular structure okay through variable we are passing the address of variable to the pointer indirectly the pointer address uh, variable address we are pointing indirectly the variable is pointing to the structure so indirectly the pointer is also pointing to the structure so we can discuss with example program so that you can better understand okay so this is the only statement that you have to write when you are uh, uh, when you want to provide the relation or connection among the structure to pointer so this statement indicates that i am passing the structure object or structure variable address to the structure pointer so storing structure variable to the structure pointer okay we can see with example program but how we can access the numbers of the given structure using pointer but first of all i want to tell you how we can access the numbers of the structure using normal variable so here i am writing for example if you are using normal variable that means uh, uh, a it is a normal variable or uh, you can take anything so here i am declaring another pointer b star b for example consider my structure name is uh, uh, cat 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 is also consists of uh, different members so consider name 
age and color whatever it may be so these are the attributes if you want to access these members of the structure through this normal variable what operator you will use a dot name a dot age a dot color so these are the normal variable if you want to access the members of the given structure you can use dot operator or periodic operator you know that that we have already discussed in the previous session but here we want to use we want to access the members of the given structure with the pointer so if you want to access these members of the structure with the help of pointer first of all you have to assign the variable address to the pointer so here i am assigning here, here i am assigning b equal to address of after that through this only then the pointer is pointing to structure cat so how we can access with the pointer through these members there is an operator is there called arrow operator so if you want to access you can use b arrow b arrow name b arrow cat uh, sorry age so b arrow color so that thing i will tell you but brief introduction i am giving okay so how we can access the members of the uh, structure using pointer with the help of uh, operator arrow of course uh, we can uh, access the members of uh, uh, structure with the dot operator also but what you have to do is uh, with the help of dot operator you want to access uh, uh, you have to use address operator and as well as dot operator combination okay that thing i will tell you uh, don't worry about that but uh, what i am going to convey is if you want to access the members of the structure using uh, where normal variable you have to use dot operator if you are using pointer you have to use uh, arrow operator okay so this is about uh, accessing members using pointer but anything anyway i will tell you clearly okay if you want to there are two ways for uh, accessing the members of the structure using pointer so first one using indirection operator so the, you have to use the uh, this particular operator and this particular operator combination if you want to access the uh, members of the structure using uh, pointer okay second type is a only single operator is that arrow operator that i have already told you okay so you can use this operator single operator or you can use a combination of a star and dot in order to access the members of the structure using pointer what is the meaning of accessing what is, what is the meaning of accessing friends if you want to store the values into the uh, into the structure that is also accessing if you want to print the values of the members of the structure that is also accessing so you can initialize or you can display the values of the members of the structure using pointer with the help of two ways one is a combination of dot operator and as well as a star operator asterisk operator or you can use single operator also that is also called as arrow operator or the name is a membership operator okay we can call arrow operator and we can call with another name also membership operator so these are the two ways that we have to use in order to access the members of the structure using pointer okay the first one so using the star and the dot how we can access okay so first one in order to access the members of the structure using the uh, dot operator you have to write first what is a pointer pointer name with along with the dot operator followed by the name of the member for example i told you uh, cat example so if you want to access the name of the cat with by using this process what do you have to write first of all you have to write star ptr pointer name star ptr underscore dot after that followed by a dot operator and after that you have to use uh, what is attribute name name so in this way you have to use uh, uh, these two operators in order to access the members of the given structure okay anyway i will tell you uh, i will tell you with example so an example so this is the uh, example i have written so this is a, a ptr underscore pointer name and dot name sir you told that uh, star ptr underscore dog dot name only we have not given parentheses yes it, 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 you have to compulsorily give parentheses why because uh, uh, this particular dot will have the highest priority compared with the star okay that we will see okay these are the two examples star ptr underscore dot name star ptr underscore dot breed you have taken the dog structure in that the attributes name breed age color in that i have written two attributes only so star ptr underscore dog means it is a pointer name it is a member name with a dot operator pointer name 
uh, dot operator and name of, name of the member. So it refers to the name of the dog, refers to the breed of the dog. Why I have given parentheses? Parentheses around this particular pointer name must be necessary. Why? Because dot operator is greater than the indirection operator. Why? Because if you are not giving, so first right side uh, right side uh, operator will be executed. Uh, left side operator cannot be executed. So first of all, you have to uh, dot operator is high, having the highest priority uh, compared to star. That's why you have to compulsorily mention uh, parentheses dot uh, name of the member. Okay. It, this is the way you can access the members of the structure using pointer. But every time we have to mention parentheses, every time we have to use star and dot two operators, we have to use. Uh, it is sometimes it will be some uh, burden to the programmer. So that's why they have introduced uh, only one operator in order to access the uh, members of the structure using pointer. That is nothing but arrow operator. So you can use the arrow operator or combination of star and dot. But here condition is when you are using star and dot uh, in order to access the members of the structure, parentheses must be there around with the pointer name. So that is a very very important one. Okay. So this is the one way. Second way you know that using arrow operator. How we can access the members of the use, uh, structure using arrow operator? Very, very important in uh, uh, bits point of view. So how many operators that we can use uh, in order to access the members of the using po uh, pointer? Two ways are there. One is you can use the periodic operator with the combination of uh, uh, asterisk or star or you can use a single operator that is uh, arrow. Okay. So if you want to access the members using arrow, what is the syntax? You have to use pointer name, pointer name and as well as uh, followed by arrow operator and followed by name of the member. We can see this is the example. So this is the consider the structure dog. So dog structure. So this is the pointer name and you have to use the symbol arrow operator and name, name of the member. Okay. So this it will print, it will be, it will, what it will, the statement indicates, it refers to the name of the dog. By using this statement, you can store the name of the dog or you can display the name of the dog by using our printf and scan of statements. Okay. So by using the statement, if you want to read, you can use scan of statement. If you want to print the name of the dog, you can use printf. But the condition is if you are using arrow operator, what is meaning here? Here I am going to access the name member of the dog structure with the help of arrow by using the pointer ptr underscore dog. Okay. So this is about uh, the syntax and uh, uh, this is another, ex another uh, example I have taken here. So PTR underscore uh, dog breed. So this, this statement indicates I am going to refer the breed of the breed member of the dog structure. So these are the two ways uh, that we have to access the members of the structure using pointer friends. Okay. I, I hope you have understand. And coming to next one. So here we uh, why, uh, I had a doubt that. So here we do, why we don't uh, mention parentheses. In previous uh, case we have mentioned parentheses. Why? Because there are two operators are there in previous case. That is star and dot. Dot will have the highest priority to differentiate that we have given the parentheses. But here we don't uh, need parentheses. Why? Uh, because uh, uh, asterisk and dot operator uh, is not there here. So this method is very much reliable and, and why we do, generally everyone will use only arrow operator in order to access. Why? Because in previous case we have to use star and dot and as well as parentheses. Three conditions that we have to check. Either star is there or not, dot is there or not and also parentheses is there or not. In that way. It is very much sometimes burden. For, for, it is an easy way. Why? Because we are using only single operator that is nothing but uh, arrow operator. So this is that's why it is only readable and reliable and flexible in order to access the members of the structure using pointer friends. Okay. So these are the two ways. Uh, in this way we have to uh, give the connection or relationship uh, among the structure and pointers. Okay. So what I am going to convey is uh, first of all you have to provide any relationship between structure to pointers uh, that is possible through only structure variable. Okay, in, in, in between the mediator is structure variable. You have to pass the address of structure variable to the structure pointer. Whenever you have passed the address of structure variable to the pointer, then pointer is pointing indirectly to the structures, uh, members of the structure. So if you want to initialize or access the members of the given structure, you have to use two of two ways. One is you have to use periodic operator uh, dot uh, along with uh, uh, star or you can use uh, another way, single operator you have to use that is uh, arrow operator. So how we can access uh, uh, the members of the given structure by using uh, arrow operator that we will discuss with an example program here. Okay. You please be concentrate on the 
example program friends so this is a pointer to structure example program so i am taking the doc structure again uh, my members of the structure are uh, uh, name uh, it indicates the name of the structure it is a array type uh, uh, member and uh, breed also have taken uh, uh, different types of uh, uh, docs are there uh, like doberman uh, uh, like uh, 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 scansi or like uh, different types of dogs are available uh, so well, that's why it indicates the breed which type of uh, dog it is okay and coming to next one age what is the age of the dog and coming to what is the color of the dog so these are the examples uh, attributes i have taken so many attributes are there for dog structure i have taken four attributes here okay so this is the structure dog uh, i have taken and coming to what a main function what i have written i have uh, written this is the object or variable so my object name is friends my object name is my underscore dog this is a structure variable you have to understand so by using this structure variable you, you want to access members of this particular structure single operator is necessary that is nothing but dot operator so you, you can use my underscore dog dot name my underscore dog dot breed my underscore dog dot age my underscore dog dot color that is that is already you know that but here in this example we are going to access the members of the structure using pointer that you have to understand so in this statement i have stored the first dog information directly i have stored you can use scanf also okay so directly i have stored what is the dog name here pike uh, breed bulldog and coming to age is 5 years and color is white color so this is the first dog information i have stored with the help of uh, structure variable okay after that what i have de declared what, what i have uh, done here friends this one so i have declared pointer so my pointer name is here pointer name is what is the pointer i have associated i have declared ptr underscore dog so star ptr underscore dog it is pointer uh, coming to variable what variable is what friends variable my underscore dog okay so this is a structure variable and this is a uh, structure pointer okay so if you want to access the members of the uh, structure dog using pointer first of all you have to pass this variable address to this particular pointer so that thing i am going to write here okay so uh, how i can pass the address with the help of address operator i am present so i am passing the address of my dog to the to the pointer so in, i am passing the address structure variable address to pointer means indirectly what i am passing i am passing structure address only i am referring the uh, i am referring the structure to pointer only okay so whenever a pointer is pointed to structure with the help of structure variable then it has a capability to access the members of uh, this particular structure okay whenever we are passing the structure variable address to the pointer then only the pointer will have the capability to access the members of the structure dog here okay so how it will access i told you two ways you can use star and dot or you can use arrow so in this example example i have defined i think arrow i have defined okay so next statement what i have written print of dog's name i, I am going to print uh, the dog name here okay so what i am going to print here dog name whatever the statement i have taken type bulldog 5 white i am going to print it so first of all with the help of pointer only i am printing you can understand here okay so whenever a pointer is po uh, whenever a structure variable address is pointed so ptr underscore dog is pointing to the uh, structure dog so if you want to access these members using ptr underscore dog use operator how to use star dot or arrow so by using arrow operator what i am doing here i am printing the name of the dog so what is the name of the dog i have taken here so, tyke so it will display tyke so here dog's name equal to what it will print tyke okay so what you have to understand here this statement you have to understand very carefully for example i want to print the name of the dog using normal variable what i have to write here friends what is the structure variable name my underscore dog dot name i will write my underscore dog dot name is also correct we are we are printing the name of the uh, name number of the dog with the help of normal structure variable but here i am printing the name of the structure dog uh, uh, name uh, member name of the structure dog using pointer if you are using pointer you have to use either arrow or you can use dot and star okay here i am using the arrow so it will print the name of the dog then if you want to print uh, uh, again the breed of the dog then what you have to write dog's breed equal to again that is also a character that's why i have taken format space for percentages so ptr underscore dog breed arrow breed so it will print the breed of the 
dog. What I have taken breed bulldog. So it will print bull, bulldog. Okay. After that, what I have taken dog's age. I am printing the age of the dog with the help of pointer. So pointer underscore dog arrow age means it will go to the structure dog. What is the third pointer age? What I have uh, stored in the age five five it will be printed. So I am printing. I am displaying all the values of the members of the structure dog using the pointer with the help of arrow operator that that thing you have to understand okay so after that uh, what i have taken again i am printing the dog's color color also dog under arrow color uh, it will print the color as white so for in this uh, example i have stored only one dog information okay and i have already stored the one dog information and i have i am going to display that dog information with the help of pointer here i am displaying with the help of pointer for example i want to enter the second dog information not with the structure variable with the pointer variable so if i i want to store the second dog information with the help of structure pointer variable how we can store uh, that you can see okay so i am want to change the name of the dog uh, uh, and the age of the dog with the help of pointer how i am changing you can see here str cpy means copy it will copy whatever the name is available in the dog's name uh, i am i am updating i am changing the name of the dog so here with the help of pointer this is my pointer name and this is the operator and this is the name of the member so ptr underscore dog arrow name means where it will pointing the name member dog name member initially what is the name of the dog i have taken tyke i am going to change copy that tyke to which name jack jack i am going to change the name of the dog with the help of pointer by using arrow operator type to the jack so the name will be arranged and jack will be displayed okay after changing okay so like this i have changed after that again with the help of pointer what i am going to do age plus plus so uh, what is the age initial i have taken in the first dog information 5 so that 5 age i am going to increment by 1 this is called increment operator plus plus means it will increment 1 so 5 will become 6 now so with the help of pointer what i have done here with the help of pointer i have increased the age of the dog of first dog information from 5 to 6 so these are the two updations i have done already existing members of uh, uh, name and age initially name uh, type will be changed to type will be changed to jack and age will be changed to from 5 to 6 these two updations i have done with the help of uh, pointer only by using which operator arrow operator this thing you have to understand okay so i have changed it so dog's new name is now i am going to print the dog's new name what it will print friends jack so if i, I want to print the new age of uh, uh, dog that it will print 6 uh, so you can see in the output okay after that i have closed the program so initially what i have taken dog name is tyke dog breed is bulldog and dog age is 5 and dog color is white this is the first information i have printed with the help of pointer after the after that i have changed with the help of pointer some changes what i have changed after changes what is the name of the dog it will print jack what is the age of the dog it will print 6 so all these things i have done with the help of pointer and using arrow operator so this is the connection and relationship among the structures and pointers friends so my final conclusion point is in order to access or in order to initialize the values into or from the members of the given structure first of all you have to point out the pointer to the structure variable how we can point out means you have to pass the address of structure variable which is associated with that particular structure after you have passed the address of structure variable to the pointer so then only the pointer will have a capability to point outing the uh, structure and it will have the uh, capability to access the members of the given structure so how it will access means uh, there are two ways uh, are there for uh, pointer to access the members of the given structure one way is using uh, uh, dot and asterisk operator and second one is using arrow operator so it is better to use uh, arrow operator it is very much flexible so if you want to access the members or initialize the values into the structure you have to use uh, pointer name 
with the help of arrow operator and as well as name of the member of that particular structure. So, this is the example structure DAG, DAG we have taken in order to communicate how the relationship between structure to pointer. Okay. So, this is about uh, structure to pointers friends and coming to next concept we have uh, uh, we have we are, we are going to discuss two topics here in the today's video session one is structure to pointers and another one is structure to arrays this is also called as a array of structures so when you are using arrays in the particular structure there is also array of structures sir we have already used some arrays in previous session there is also example of array of stru structures okay but uh, uh, specifically i am uh, demonstrating how the array of structures are used particularly when you are using uh, pointers okay so, this is array of structures. Structures are used to store the information of one particular object. Okay. But if then if, if we need to store 100 objects, for example, uh, in the previous case, I have discussed uh, one dog information. If second dog information I want to enter, again, I have to use uh, uh, structure variable. Uh, for example, if I take, uh, I want to store 100 dogs information, how it is possible? You have to take uh, array of 100. So, like that, if you want to store 100 objects information at a time, you have to declare structure as an array. So, I am declaring itself structure as an array that is called a structured array. Okay. So, how we can discuss uh, that we see with example. Here, this particular book information structure I have taken. So, the structure name is book information. The first member is the uh, name of the book and the second information is uh, uh, number of pages of the book and the third information, what is the price of the book and fourth information. I have taken here a structure variable as an array. Generally, we, we declare here only either B or book or C or whatever it may be. But here I am declaring a variable itself as an array. So, when you have declared a structure variable as an array, that is the concept of array of structures. Okay. If you declare only either B or C, at a time only we will store one book information. But when you have taken book of 100, it indicates that we are going to store 100 books information at a time. Okay, so, that is the uh, array of structures advantage. So, how we can store uh, that we can see here book structure is used to store the information of one book, but if you want to mention uh, 100 books, then array of structures is to be used. How this array of structures is to be used, uh, that thing I will tell you. Okay. So, we can see with the example program how the three books I am going to, I am not going to store 100 books information, it is very much uh, by then, that is why I am taking here three books information how we can store okay so i have taken book information book name here uh, pages and same book same topic i have taken so i am going to store how many books information here three books information okay so three books information i want to store okay how i am going to store three books information you can see here in the main function what i have written into i so for i equal to 0 i less than 3 so initial i value is 0 0 less than 3 condition true it goes to the next statement what i have written printf enter the name of the book so, okay for example uh, i have in, i have uh, written the name of the book is uh, c language okay consider okay uh, whatever the information i have i have given c language that will be stored in the book of i book of 0 of b, b name so b name means this is the so book b name of uh, 0th index position it will store uh, uh, whatever the statement you have taken C language ok after that what I have written number of pages number of pages means for example consider the number of pages are 500 so that information I am going to store in book of uh, i dot pages so in this uh, uh, memory location it will store 500 ok after that enter the price of book what is the price of book I have taken here uh, for example consider uh, 2000 rupees or 200 rupees ok so that information will be stored in the price member of the structure book information ok so in this way you can store uh, uh, in this way you can store the first information then i value will become 1 now 1 means 1 less than 3 again you are storing second book information so again you are taking uh, uh, second book information for example considered uh, uh, em this is the em1 another subject Another, uh, uh, how many pages? 100 pages, 250. Second, uh, second book information. Okay. Again, I will become 2 now, 2 less than 3. Again, same information. Consider chemistry. And uh, pages 600, price 300. Third book information I have stored. Again, I will become 3 now, 3 less than 3, condition failed. 
so what i have taken here i am taking the book array of uh, uh, structure variable as an array when we have declared a structure variable as an array it has a capability to store at a time how many uh, number of books you want whatever the size you have mentioned in an array you can take that number of you can store that number of books information at a time by using when you are declaring the structure variable as an array so when you have declared a structure variable as an array to the structure that is the concept of array of structures okay so what is, what is the advantage of array of structure in previous case we have taken only st one structure variable if you want to store a number of uh, 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 values number of member values at a time it, it may take some long time but when you have declared a structure variable as an array by using simple looping condition you can declare more number of uh, uh, values member values at a time so here i want to store the book information of three books at a time that's why i have declared structure variable as an array and I, I am uh, with the help of looping condition at a time I am storing the three books information okay so hope you can see with the by seeing the uh, output uh, here okay so uh, I am going to print uh, uh, book details here so uh, book details it will print uh, like uh, output so whatever the uh, name I have uh, uh, name pages book uh, price I have given I am going to print it so in previous case what I have written in previous case what I have written here we are reading the values what is the book name what is the page how many pages what is the price of the book with the help of uh, scan of statement i have uh, read the values these are the values i have read it but coming to next one what i am same logic i am using for printing same like logic i am using for printing this will it will print the first book information initial i value is zero book of zero means first book information so book of zero dot book name what i have taken c language it will print after that book of zero pages what i have taken 500 pages uh, book of price uh, first book price uh, 200 like that three again i will become one now one less than three again it will go for second book information it will display again two less than three third book information it will display whenever three less than three the condition is failed then it will break so these three statements are used i am using the um, uh, to uh, to print the three books details at a time with the help of uh, uh, array of structure okay so after that i have written zero and we have closed the main function so these are the example books i have taken first book name is abc second book uh, uh, first book pages are 100 price is 200 uh, second book name is efg and uh, 200 pages 300 price after that uh, third book information hig uh, pages are 300 and price is 500 so three books information i have read it that is input now output will be book details it, it will print the book details like first book name abc 100 200 second book efg 200 300 third book hig 300 500 so this is for a completely display purpose in previous case previous these three and uh, these three are reading purpose okay so this is the final output these three books information we have printed so what i am going to convey this uh, uh, by using this particular concept is uh, whenever you have taken a structure variable as an array that is called as an array of structure okay what is the advantage of array of structures means if you want to read initialize or display uh, more books information at a time uh, then you have to take the structure variable as an array not only books anything anything if you want to store uh, uh, multiple items multiple objects information then you have to take the object variable as an array when you have declared a structure variable as an array that structure is called as a array of structures so this, this it is the only advantage that we have uh, when you have declared structure itself as an array so when when we are declaring a structure itself as an array indirectly we are declaring the structure variable or structure object uh, as an array so that is the concept of uh, uh, structure to arrays okay hope you understand uh, uh, today's concepts uh, if you had any doubts uh, regarding structures uh, uh, basics and structure to arrays and structure to pointers uh, so you please uh, communicate with me through mail or phone and i will definitely answer your queries and this is for today's video session thank you very much friends uh, joining us today and have a nice day